What's up everybody? Welcome to Weapons Workshop, the show where we show you step by step how to make the weapons of your favorite superheroes. I'm your host, Joel Messenger, and today we are working on the breakdown staff of Nightwing. Today we're going to be building Nightwing's staff that breaks down into his scrimmage sticks. With the trademark black and blue and non-lethality, we'll be showing you how to make a staff just like his. Alright, so getting into the materials that you're going to need for this build, you want to start off obviously with PVC pipe. I got a 10 foot length, one because it's a better deal, and two because it'll give me a surplus so I can use it later on. So I just got, I used 3 quarter inch, it's regardless, it doesn't really matter what size you use, you're also going to want a slip coupling for this. You're going to want paint colors that you're going to use. I have black and blue obviously for Nightwing. PVC cement, something to cut PVC with. I'm using these leaf trimmers but you can also use PVC cutters specifically or even a hacksaw. It doesn't need to be a specific cut. You're going to need electrical tape, a hammer, sand, and a way to funnel sand into the PVC pipe. You're also going to need scrap wood. As far as tools go, you're going to need a bandsaw or a scroll saw and you're going to need a sand. Now the first step is obviously going to be cutting your PVC pipe to length. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to take tape measure, measure it out. For me, I want a five foot staff. I want something a little bit shorter for me to use. A little bit shorter than I am. I'm six foot tall. Don't tell the edge that. There's a big argument going on there. But I am six foot tall. I like having a five foot staff for a little bit extra. Now this cut does not need to be exactly level, all right? Because you're going to be putting these in couplers and also you're going to be using a sander. So, one quick cut, and you have your five foot staff. You can take your extra right here, separate it out. All right, so, now with this five foot staff, you're gonna want it in two sections, obviously for the nightwing staff that separates out into a scrim stick. So go ahead and take your tape measure, mark it in the middle, there's that five feet. So I'm looking for a 30 inch mark, and here it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that with this. Alrighty, and then you just make another really quick cut right there. And as long as it's not like at a 45 degree angle, it doesn't need to be 100% perpendicular to the pipe. Man, this is spiking. There it is. You will have a little bit of creasing like this. Do not worry about it. It's entirely fine. Um, you can buff it out or you can just actually just use these ends for the tops. Alrighty, so at this point we're actually going to start assembling the staff. As you can see here, we have our two portions. We have two caps. We have a coupler in the middle and we have some PVC cement, a marker, and some channel locks to open up the PVC cement. Make sure, obviously, that your couplers and caps are the same size as your locks. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this PVC cement. Make sure to not let it touch your skin, not because it's dangerous or anything, but because you'll get flakes of cement on it that make it hard to work with. You're gonna wanna go ahead and take your perfect two ends here on the side, coat them both with cement, and put those caps right on there. If you're gonna have your two creased ends from your cut on the other side are gonna go for your coupler. Rather than trying to just squeeze them on, like I will here in a second, what you're gonna wanna want to do is just cut them off, get a flat surface using a bandsaw and a sander, go ahead and fit your coupler the same way. Be sure to check your staff at this point to make sure that the length is satisfactory. At this point you can go ahead and move on to paint. Take your two sections down, give them a base coat of black if you're going for the Nightwing look. Then what you want to do is go up towards the top, mark off the top so that it stays black, giving room for customization, adding tasers and stuff like that later on. Then take six inches down from it, paint it blue. That way, one fifth of each of your 38 inch sections is blue. Gives it kind of that Nightwing dynamic or ratio of blue to black. Be sure to use paint that is good for painting on plastics, wood, and great for outdoors. Be sure to give it plenty of time to dry or you'll have a tacky, sticky grip to it there at the end. All right, so what you wanna do is take a, side, a piece of your pipe or around the same size, Get it short enough you can fit a pencil in it, put it on a piece of scrap wood that you don't really care about, run a circle around it so you have a circle around the inside diameter of your pipe. Then take a scroll saw or a bandsaw, really whatever you prefer, cut out the circle. 
you want to leave it to where it's got a little bit of a concave to where it contains mostly the shape of a cork. It's essentially going to act like a cork on the inside of your um, escrima sticks, right there on the end where the coupler goes. This way, it'll be plugged in and it will hold all the weight of your sand in. It's really important that you have it cork shaped because it's going to compress the sand within the escrima stick. The issue if you don't have it cork shaped is that it's going to one, slide around, two, it's going to be dependent entirely upon the PVC cement to hold it in, and number three, it's just not going to get the compression of sand that you want. Without that compression, it's going to be sliding around and it's going to be end up being too much like a blackjack because as you walk around with it at night, as you walk around with it anywhere really, you're going to get this rattle. It's going to sound like a gigantic baby rattle. Anyway, once you cut out your corks, you want to sand them on a belt sander until they are smooth. Once again, if you have any flat sides, have any areas where sand could slip through, it's going to be a problem. PVC cement should seal small areas, so it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect as a circle, but it does need to be pretty good, enough to hold in sand with the help of cement. Anything that doesn't have to be held up with cement is good. So, after this, you want to go ahead and take it out. It's already been painted at this point, so what you can do is go out and pull the staff apart. Whichever side comes out is your weaker connection. Put PVC cement on that side, plug it back in, only on that side. That way, your weaker side will be holding the coupler with the cement, while your stronger side will be connected with the staff. So, from this point, once you have your connection and your PVC cement is dried, you want to go ahead and take some sand. Get your sand. I use paver sand because it's a lot heavier, it gives it a lot more weight. You also want to get like a metal rod for tamping it in. Go ahead and separate your staff. Your paint might be a little sticky at this point, but it doesn't really matter. Take your funnel, or in my case, a brisk iced tea bottle, upside down and cut in half. Put it up in your device and obviously just a handful at a time, fill up your uh, iced tea bottle. Once you have it filled up all the way, tamp it down in order to compress as much sand as possible. Shaking it and stabbing in with the rod will really help, will really be the most effective methods out of this. Tamp it down as much as you possibly can, leaving as little room at the top as possible for the cemented sand. At this point you want to pour a little bit out, as this is the end with the coupler, you're not going to have as much space for the cork. You gotta get a little bit more sand out in order for the cork to fit. Now at this point you want to place the cork in and tamp it in with your rod. I had a little bit too much sand in mine the first time so I had to pour it out, readjust, shake the sand down a little bit. Then what you want to do is take your PVC cement once again, do a once around your wooden quote unquote cork Place it back inside your pipe. Then with your tamping rod, take it back up and hammer it back in, all the way down until it's flush with the top of the pipe. You then want to take the PVC cement and drip it in to create a layer of cement on the top, once again to fill in any gaps that might be created by a lopsided cork. Especially if you're making a method with like a scroll saw and a sander, you're going to have some gaps in there. Now, once that layer has dried, go ahead and check it out by turning it upside down. Even if you have safety, you want to put in a little bit more cement. As long as the cement goes all the way up to the top, even if it comes all the way up and fills it even with the brim, you're good. And that's fine. Keep it up and down, up against the wall in order to dry, so that way you don't get any leakage or seepage with your PVC cement. Make sure that you add additional layers as you go to stop holes from forming, to stop air gaps, sand sliding out of this fully to trash from everything because you'll you'll drip sand it's just it won't feel like a real good nightwing staff make sure you have it looks like this once you have your pvc cement now on to testing we're gonna break this board here's a larger board as you can see these boards it breaks the smaller board showing that it contains enough force to break a board. It also breaks the larger board showing that it, oh sorry, it also fails to break the larger board showing that it doesn't have the same non-resistive force of a metal bat. It generates force. It generates a lot of force. It gives you that knockout. But it's not so rigid that it will kill your opponent. Test your staff out at the end. Make sure you like it, like the weight, and can use it effectively. <clears throat>
All right, guys, well, that's all I have for the Nightwing staff. I am really, really pleased with this. It turned out super, super well. Like, it's this, this weight, I used paper sand, so it's quite a bit heavier. That weight really just sinks out there to the end and packs a real punch. It was, you saw that, it was breaking boards and it was impacting the, that metal equipment. Nothing, nothing, no deformation, no breaking, no nothing. Really, really strong because all that force on the impact goes through that sand and is dissipated. So it stops it from breaking. I really think this is going to be more towards um, effect-wise, more accurate towards the Nightwing staff because you're going to get impact, you're going to get a lot of force, you're going to get knockouts, you're going to get bruised and broken ribs, but you're not going to get skull fractures because, like I said, you got a natural bend of that PVC, you got weight of that sand, so you have force enough to cause that unconsciousness, but not rigidity enough to kill. Um, I really enjoyed this, so I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment, give me the next weapon to build. Um, every weapon that I build will end up in a How to Hero episode later on. So stay tuned this week for the uh, How to Hero for Nightwing where you'll see The Edge teach you how to fight like Nightwing in live action using this staff. Um, so, you know, any, any uh, weapon you suggest should go towards a hero we've already done a fight like over. And hopefully you'll see it up here on the channel. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. I'm Joel Messenger. This is Weapons Workshop. And I'll see y'all later.